welcome to episode six from our chapter eight series of screencasts on photosynthesis. And in this episode, we're going to learn about the details of photosynthesis. Now, if you have found this screencast on YouTube because you were looking at a really, really detailed uh, video on how photosynthesis occurs, you have come to the wrong place. All right? These screencasts are being made for an Indiana high school and the Indiana Biology 1 standards are really, really weak on photosynthesis. So we're just getting a very quick and easy overview of it. So you're not going to get any details on photophosphorylation. Um, you're not going to get a ton of detail on all the cycle or how the Calvin cycle changes. Um, carbon dioxide is turned directly into glucose through the Calvin cycle. You're not going to get that here because that's not required of Indiana students, okay? But if you just want a, a nice little overview, you've come to the right place, all right? So what happens during the light-dependent reactions? And the first thing you want to remember about the light-dependent reactions is that they occur in the thylakoids, okay? Remember those little green poker chips that you find inside the chloroplast? This is where all this occurs, okay? The first thing is, is light is going to hit chlorophyll, and you're going to have to split water to replace the electron that popped off. And that's done through a process called photolysis. Remember, this is using light. Whoops, let me fix that. And you're going to use that light to break. And in this case, you're going to break water. So photolysis, splitting water. Okay, the oxygen is made as a waste product during this step. Some of the hydrogen that's made during photolysis is used to make ATP. Remember ATP is an energy transfer molecule, and that's done by an electron transport chain, which we'll learn about in more detail in Chapter 9 on how those work. High energy electrons, which came from uh, the, you know, when the magnesium popped off an electron. That's the electrons we're talking about here. And then these hydrogens that come from here, some of those are going to be picked up by an electron carrier called NADP+. NADPH means it has the electron on it, NADP+, plus, that means no electron. So this would be an empty truck, this would be a truck with a full load. Now this NADPH and the ATP, they're going to move on to the next part of photosynthesis, which is called the Calvin cycle, sometimes referred to as a light independent, and the Calvin cycle is going to occur in the stroma, which is the fluid outside of the thylakoids. All right. All right. So let's get rid of that and we'll learn about the Calvin cycle. Okay. Now remember the Calvin cycle, this occurs inside the stroma. And remember the stroma is part of the chloroplast. And what happens during this is the energy from ATP, remember ATP, that came from the light dependent reactions and the NADPH, which came from the light dependent reaction. That's going to be used to turn carbon dioxide into sugars, specifically glucose, which has a chemical formula of C6H12O6. Okay, like I said before, we're not going through all the details on this, but I do have a picture I want to show you to help make this seem like it makes a little bit more sense. All right. In this picture here, I think we'll use red on this one. This is a chloroplast, all right? And what the, we have right here, remember this is a stack of thylakoids, so that would be a granum. And these are green because this is where chlorophyll is going to be found. There we go. All right, so we have the light reactions here. We have the Calvin cycle out here in what is called the stroma. That's this area. Okay, so we have some energy of light. Remember, energy of light, it comes in little packets called a photon. This photon hits the chlorophyll, and this chlorophyll pops off an electron, and this electron is picked up by NADPH. So remember, this is an electron. That's an E. It's an electron carrier. Okay. Some of the energy from light is used to make ATP. These two guys are going to move to the Calvin cycle, and they're going to supply the energy to make that run. Now, when you split water, you know, let's write the word in here, photolysis. 
because that's what's happening in this arrow. All right, so photolysis is occurring here in the waste product of photolysis or the light reactions is called, whoops, what the heck was I spelling there? Oh, I know what I was doing. It's a waste. It's a waste product. That's oxygen. Okay, now, in the Calvin cycle, the electrons and the ATP are used to take carbon dioxide and turn it into sugars, specifically glucose, C6H12O6. Okay, now, if you can remember the overall equation for photosynthesis, which is 6 CO2 plus 6 waters yields 1 molecule of glucose and 6 molecules of oxygen. Okay, so as you can see here on the top, we have the reactants, which is everything to the left of the arrow. So these are the reactants over here. And at the bottom, we have the products, which is everything to the right of the arrow. Okay? All right. You're bound to see this on a test or a quiz, so you want to make sure that you study this picture and be able to label it just like I did. Okay? That's going to end this episode. we got one more to go in this chapter. So until that episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.